welcome to Distant Worlds Universe. We're playing as the core and in this episode, yes, you like it or you hate it, but it is going to be time that we are going to be redesigning uh, most of our vessels and hopefully we'll exp we will be able to make them into decent, decent ships. Now, first things first, uh, we'll just select everyone and do the auto upgrade and... There are the options of now getting light cruisers, heavy cruisers, battleships, and so on. So we'll have to think of a way to actually utilize them all of all of the ships that we would like to utilize. Actually, let's cancel that. We can just do the edit. We are having 580. The hyperdrive is going to get a boost. We already know that, and the fuel capacity is at 845, which I think is quite quite big it's quite a quite a lot so i want to bring this down to 10 so 650 is going to be enough so let's walk down through uh, through this line um there were a few things that i wanted to add and i don't have right now on my ships and that would be a mistake uh, power commerce troops no Sensors. Do we have the uh, proximity sensor? Yes, we do. Do we have the targeting system on here? Yes, we do. Countermeasures. Yes, of course, we also do that. Mm, there was one more. Do we have the EPM on here? Where is my... Where is that thing? Because it should be, it shouldn't be on here. Let's just say that, oh, here we go, defense. Iron defense. And I think that is important. That would definitely help. What do we need for the ships? Um, the firepower is quite low. Uh, the speed is, it, it isn't cruising speed. It is, it's, it's doing a fine, fine job. Let us add more armor that first and I think it's going to be all about weapons so we we'll use short range so adding a few missiles would not be bad D to what extent can we go can we add up to 10 weapons um, all around yes, that would be very nice that would be extremely nice that's 737. The maintenance is going through the roof. But it's already having a firepower of 170. Three of our ships would equally strengthen. Uh, it just equally... equally wow! <laughs> Don't worry, Daily. It just hurts for a minute. It will just be on par <laughs> with our alien empire. Uh, equally. Equally. Whatever. Uh, cruising. We could add... Well, we desperately need to add more energy. That's going to be putting us up. How far can we actually go? How far? 919. Let's go with speed. I really like to add more speed. Uh, maybe a few more shields. There you go. So, where are our engines? The sprint is going up. Can we increase something about... It's cruise trust. Of seven, um, 750. How do we increase that? That's too much. And we still need to do habitability and life. Which should be around here. It's almost there. So let's add, ju just add a bunch of armor. There you go. The sentry marks. So he's having uh, quite a bit of survivability. He has a lot of engines. A lot of engines. More than enough power and some fuel. Energy capacity storage of 900. I'd say this is going to be quite nice for the sentry. The destroyer. Let's see. So the destroyer right now is 
short range and we want to keep it short range it also means that we would like to boost all of that let's bring you back to 10 as well the crew command center movement uh, we, we will need to add more power but we'll do that at the end standard armor let's bring this up to 500 in already let's do a thousand shield so it's just going to be as, as defensive as the um the escorts it's it's a, uh, a close ranged ship we have some boarding pots in here uh, that's what we, well, i really like that so we'll add a few more boarding of salt of 700 that will be enough for a lot of ships and probably stations we need to get the epm defense now we know that's under defense how about the rest? Did we add the rest? I think so. If I missed any of them, let me know in the comment section. I, I do miss a few things. Let's add the uh, sum of these to 10. I think the, f the turn rate is good enough. Look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah, we already will need to add a bunch of power. Proximity sensors... Let's go to 345. I was actually looking for the weapons. Let's do that just from this drop down menu over here. So, yeah, it's just. Let's bring up to 10. Missiles we don't want. Iron cannon. An iron cannon is quite short ranged. So, how much can we add? Can we add 10? And we need to do the real weapons as well. Where are you? Got the blasters, missiles, iron cannons. You can go by name. Just go to weapons. There you go. Yeah, we're going way over now. So, let's do five. I kind of like the iron. This, this firepower is insane. I, I really, really do enjoy that. But... In terms of energy, we are unable to. And that's a bit of a shame. So we have to get rid of a few of these. And it is actually eating a lot of power. Mm, just seven of them. In terms of power, we are now doing well. But we still need habitability in life. Availability, life, and we'll just add more, more armor. I think this is more than enough. So, the light cruiser. We have our destroyer who is, like, short range. Uh, I would like to add a ship that is mid-range. And we'll add a ship that will stay at the far end, like, just shooting missiles. And our battleship is just having everything. It just goes in there and just destroys everything. So let's add it. Um, I think we might just want to get rid of all of this and just rebuild from the from scratch. So we don't. We need command. We need countermeasures. We need there. We don't. Need, we need movement for sure. And more iron thrusters. I don't... Yeah, actually, on our uh, next cruiser, we could add hangers. Or just make it into a carrier. No, we'll make it a dedicated carrier, whatever. Uh, living. Life. Um, warp shield bubble, for sure. Construction, we don't need. We need power. Um, proximity sensor. Shields. We don't need docking. I don't want to transport troops with it. I don't like the idea. Uh, we need fuel. And we'll go with weapons that are like mid-range. So we'll add all of them right now. And the mid-range weapon would be the Iron Cannon and the Maxis Blaster. 
So, actually no, the, the basic railgun and the iron cannon. Uh, the others are just not far, but I do want to get auto cannons. I want to make sure that we do not get swarmed. Because that would be bad. So, let's get rid of the missile. And we will get rid of the Maxis Blaster. So these are all going to be that what will form this ship. I don't think we can add more. No, we can't. So, movement. Let's go up. It's actually directional. I'll go with 10. Uh, the movement thrusters. Yeah, it needs 25 for sure. One move uh, bubble will need power, but we'll do that later. Uh, in terms of shields, let's go 1500. Let's go to 10. Let's see, the hyper the hyper is really low. Yeah, that's because of our power situation. We'll, uh, we'll have to add that. Armor. Where is armor again? Let's go here with name. Once on defense, so D. Did I not add armor? Yes. I completely forgot armor. Adding armor. Let's add this to 750. And this is going to be the power. Three sixty one. I think I can work with that. The sprint is quite okay, and now it is going to be time. Let's add five, ten, and where's the other weapon? It is here on auto cannons. One forty. That is not so much. Let us make sure we get a lot more real guns in here. Habitability in life. Seriously, that's a lot. 12. Damn. That's that's a lot though. That is really, really a lot. You know what? Let's get rid of our defenses, Scaper. Let's get rid of our defenses. And still not enough. We're, we're almost there, though. We're almost there, but we're not quite yet. Um, ionized cannons can go off. And we can actually lower our power or just increase the, uh, the rail guns. I think we need to increase the... Will this go over? This is exactly what we need. I don't like that. Because if we go over, it, it will just do a lot. Let's add more power and get rid of another real gun. I think this would work. Semi. So, yeah, somewhat. It would work. Let's add this up to one. There we go. The heavy cruiser. Like I said, this is going to be the, uh, the missile boat. What's the time? 13 minutes. We've got plenty of time. We're, this is going to be a few, a few episodes, guys. I'm sorry for that. Let us not remove everything. Directional to 10, 25, this is already 10, and let's take a quick look. So, standardized armor, we need, mm, crew command we already have, do we have the counter measures? No, targeting systems, there we go. Where's the other one? It's around here, like defense. Let's go by category again. And defense is now right there. So in terms of weapons, we're going to get rid of the basic real guns. And we're going to be adding missiles. A lot of missiles. Uh, we need a hyperdrive as well. Hyperdrives are useful if we want ships that can actually keep up with the fleet. Let's go with name.
Let's see. Shields. Do we have shields on here? No. We want those too. So now I will go with 1500 because these are your um, long range ships. We can actually probably do with standoff. So they'll keep at a distance and don't go in there. I know they want to go in there, but we don't want to have them in there. Uh, armor we've added a bit. Uh, let's go with 500. Oh, that's too many. Targeting countermeasures. Where is my bloody warp field bubble? There you go. Habitability and life. Let's get that going as well. 13. It's probably going to be 12. Considering that's the same as the other one. Uh, let's add more missiles. And we need to add more power. Wow, this is a lot of missiles, guys. <laughs> Look at this. 30 missiles. <laughs> Oh yeah, I like it. Let's add a few more. 35, we'll add a tiny bit more power. Let's dial down until we lose that one message. And add just a bit of armor. Uh, with defenses, armor. There we go. So this is going to be our long range ship. And this is the heavy, heavy cruiser. Now the battleship, uh, we're going to do a mixture of things. Now we'll have to think of a way to actually uh, utilize them uh, to the best of their ability. So let's add it. Uh, movement is good. Let's go up to 25, considering this is that mod. Uh, we'll dial down on those. And let's go with category. Uh, defensive armor. Uh, I would like to go to a thousand. So this is just going to be like your heavy ship. This is a battleship. It will go in close and be personal. Um, countermeasures. Targeting system. Um, living quarters would probably already have enough. Uh, warp bubble... Proximity sensor we already have. Shields. Ah, let's do 2,000. And we're already over. We, we are not going to be able to uh, use this battleship in a while. Let's just make it anyways. We'll have enough uh, fuel. So in terms of weapons, it has 25 basic real guns. And, and free missiles. I don't think that is actually how we want to be playing this. Let's do 15 by 15. And we do want to get auto cannons. Oh wow, this, this ship is going to be quite a while before we can use them. The iron cannons, I, I do like. I do think it's, uh, it's quite nice. It fires a ball of ionized particles. That disables weapons and engines. It's just strong. That's why we want to have those on our destroyers. That we want to disable those ships. We need more habitability and we need more life. And damn, we need a lot of it. So 15. Yeah, uh, consider adding troop modules. We'll just save it. We can't use it anyways. Exploration ship. Yeah, is there anything that we would like to change? Do we have the the ionized defense? No, we do not. Well, we will do and do a change on that. So, do we have the EPM? Yes, we do. So, we'll probably have the targeting systems as well. Let's go by name and name. So, ECM, countermeasures. Where's my targeting? No, okay, we don't have weapons. That's why we don't have targeting. So let's go to defense. And let's add the iron defense. Because we did not have those. The fuel is nice. The energy, the engines. 
Let's boost the engines. Just, just boosting them without of the wazoo. Something like that. I like this. Yeah, I do. Evade, evade. It's just 30 and 20. More, more than enough. Uh, the colonizer. I don't think we need to change this. Uh, since we are not sending it into hostile territory. And the constructor, let's manually upgrade. Let's do, once again, name and name. We'll go with the ionized defense. We'll add a bunch of this. And we need more cargo. There you go. And this is going to be our construction, the construction ship. I think it's going to be viable. So that's up, that's 20 minutes, guys. We did our state ships. Uh, we'll give the order to uh, to our construction yard to uh, make sure we upgrade all of our ships to latest designs. Let's go to our exploration ships. And we'll give them the order to retrofit to the latest designs as well. Military ships. We have three escorts. And we are going to be not having them in a fleet anymore. Retrofit you into the latest design. And we are automating them. But also I would like to get about seven more of them. So... Can we just do it from here? It doesn't really matter, right? There you go. So, I would like to get seven more. Let's click over here so we actually get this all done. Look at this. Look at what they want with my army. And, yeah, I, I kind of agree. Exploration, ship, and construction I don't want to change. As for the, uh, <laughs> the advisor, uh, no. No, no, no. They can buy that stuff for themselves. Let's unpause. Let's make sure that all of that is happening. And we did it. We skipped four days in the game. And we are retrofitting everything like crazy. While still increasing all of this, we still have to do our carrier. But we'll start that the next episode. And work our way through the stations. And let's make sure that we build a defensive base as well since it probably won't be long until we go to war and this is the uh, forward post of operation we might want to uh, utilize our our border perhaps anyways thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed hope to see you next time have a good one bye bye